All right, so we're gonna vlog legs today. Um, as you guys can see, it's like snow outside in fucking October. Um, I think it's like negative 15 or something too, so it's cold, but I'm gonna hit the gym. And I do have work later today, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like record all the exercises just because I kind of want to just get in there, work as much as I can, and then kind of get out. Um, yeah, we're gonna hit legs. We're gonna start off with some hamstrings and then move on to quads. And then we'll just finish off with cats. Like, it's very simple. Um, my quad exercises though are gonna be very, very good. Like, the leg extension superset with sissy squats, like body weight sissy squats. Honestly, I got like one of the best pumps I've ever gotten and my quads from that. And I feel like my legs get bigger every time I hit legs, so might as well. Um, the hamstrings might be, I don't even know. I, I don't think they're gonna be that good today, honestly. I feel like my lift today is gonna be very fast and not rushed, but yeah, I don't know. It's just gonna feel weird just cause I have a lot of stuff to do. But anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys in the gym. Um, my headphones actually broke, so I can't fucking listen to music while I'm in the fucking gym now. Um, that, so that sucks, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the gym. We're hitting legs, goddammit. Alright, so to start, this, start the workout, essentially doing laying hamstring curls. This is very good just to get my hamstrings kind of warmed up. I think I was doing like like 120 or something like that on the machine. As you guys can see here, I'm going all the way basically to my glutes. Um, I do notice I do a little bit of a pause on the bottom, just to really stretch out my hamstring. And honestly, I found it just works for me. So this is the first set. This is me just kind of warming up. Um, I think I was doing 85 for warm up. Um, you guys are gonna see in the next few seconds here that I up the weight. But as you can see, I'm just kind of warming up my hamstrings, getting a feel for the leg day. And it's still tiring, so, yeah. Okay, so moving on to the second set. Uh, this here, I'm doing, I think, 125 or 130. Just one of those two that I can remember. And honestly, this second, this second set, I guess, or the first working set, was honestly fucking amazing. I, f I felt my hamstrings so much during this. And laying hamstring curls for me, especially when I start off with hamstrings on my leg day, I notice, one, I get a better quad pump, and two, I'm a lot stronger um, for my quads when I'm warming up my hamstrings. It also has a little bit of calf work in it too, so it's not terrible. As you guys can see, I only did six to eight reps, so. All right, so moving on to the second set or the working set i guess you could say essentially in this um essentially in this set i do 125 basically to failure and then i end up dropping it down so that's essentially what i did for this leg day and yeah i don't know it just it just i love playing him from curls it helps so much as you can see here i dropped the weight um yeah, honestly, this is one of my best leg days I think I probably ever had. I don't really get that good of pumps on my leg days. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, like, just the intensity, I guess. I don't know. It's just, like, I was really focused on this workout. And honestly, my legs were fucking dead out of after this. So, as you guys can see, I'm done, and I am pretty tired. All right, so moving on. We just have regular hamstring curls. Um... I've been leaning over on my hamstring curls recently, and I've noticed a big difference in one, the stretch of my hamstring, and two, just the pump I get from my hamstring. So I've been leaning over um, on my laying hamstring curls, and honestly, I don't know what it is. I don't know why it does it, but like, it just fucking, it just destroys my hamstring. And honestly, I love doing this as my second workout after my hamstrings are warmed up, because I'm doing... Um, 165 pounds, I think, on the, on, like, leaning over on this hamstring curl exercise. As you guys can see, I was really putting my all into it, and honestly, it fucking burned. It burned so bad in my hamstrings, and it was literally just an amazing workout.
All right, so moving on to the second set. I actually have to change the camera angle because someone got mad I was recording them, which is understandable. Um, but yeah, um, I actually changed positions a little bit and I actually uh, decided to kind of move my hips back a little more just so I can get a better stretch for my hamstrings. And as you guys can see, um, it's still hard and like I'm still getting a very good range of motion out of it too. So honestly, this, these hamstring workouts are the best. Like for me personally, I only do these two hamstring workouts and honestly, I've seen more progress doing just these two than I did like overexerting them by doing uh, like dumbbell RDLs and like, yeah, sure, dumbbell, dumbbell RDLs are like good, but like, I don't know, just doing these two exercises, I just see way more progress and I get a way better pump out of it. So I have no reason to do anything else. All right, so moving on, I actually do squats. Now, this is actually my last set of squats because I could not record uh, the first few sets. And I actually have a plate underneath my feet right now. Um, for me personally, squatting without a belt is possibly just really fucking painful for me. I don't know what it is. And it's not even my form. Like, I'm looking at my form. I'm getting decent range of motion. And I'm going low enough. And my lower back does not hurt at all. It's just like... The belt for me just helps my entire body become stable, I guess, I guess you could say. And like, I don't know, like it's just, it's just enjoyable. But I was really focusing just not really on the weight that I was lifting, but kind of just like the way I was doing my squat and really focusing on my quads and my glutes and just going really, really slow and just kind of taking my time. I don't know what it was, but recording this set of squats was absolutely painful because I don't usually do that much weight on the bar like i'm i used to squat with the belt on a regular all the time and i was squatting and repping 225 but now i can barely do like 185 so so for my next exercise is just like extensions superset of assisted squats and i kind of sold the superset from sam solik and multiple other other influencers but honestly, this pump that you get from your quads for going to do leg extensions to failure to assisted squats is honestly some of the best pumps I've ever gotten. As you guys can see here, um, these are leg extensions. I think I was doing like 120 or something like that leg extension. Like I'm not doing a lot, but like, I don't know, like just supersetting it is honestly the best. And as you guys can see, the second I finish, I stand up and I get ready. I do supported squats especially for body weight just because i just I'm, I'm pretty tall like i'm six one almost six two yet i'm still doing this right so as you guys can see like just really pushing your knees forward as you go down for sissy squats is just amazing and i'm really really struggling with this i'm like my legs are fucking completely dead after two sets of squats plus this like plus the leg extension plus this right so I don't know. I just enjoy sissy squats with like extensions. It's really good. And as you guys can see, I failed there. So this is the second set of like extensions. I'm actually glad I got to record more sets of my workout than just recording one set and just calling it a day. I don't know. It's, it's very, very weird and it's very, very hard to film, especially when you're in a gym that literally tells you to stop recording any single chance they get. So this is honestly like again my favorite quad exercises is this is quads and leg extension so honestly this is just amazing and as you guys can see here i am literally dying in the background so yeah Looking at it from like now and watching the recording, watching me do sissy squats has to be the most embarrassing thing. Like recording yourself doing workouts and seeing like your form or seeing things like this where like it just looks awkward, but like you're still getting a pump out of it. Like 
it's a little different. And I started putting my hand, like, on my waist for some reason. I don't know why I did that, but I don't know. I just felt like doing it. And honestly, like, as you guys can see there, like, I was really, really struggling, and I decided to stop. So I ended up taking the shorts off here. Or, sorry, my pants. And, um... Yeah, honestly, my legs are still fucking skinny, and honestly, I want bigger legs, so I'm going to be going really, really hard on my leg workouts, um, as well as, obviously, everything else, but I think when I start bulking, um, I'm definitely going to be focusing on chest, forearms, and legs. Those are the main three things I'm really going to focus on in the upcoming bulk, so, uh, yeah, and as you guys can see here, like, this is my third set, right, and I'm absolutely destroyed after this, like, absolutely. So, So as you guys can see, like, this is just the last set of 60 squats, and this is actually my final exercise for the leg day, so the leg day is very, very short, and honestly, I see progress doing it, so I might as well just keep doing it, and I do hit legs, or try to hit legs twice a week. Some days I just can't because I'm working, or I'm just too tired, and leg days are very exhausting. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The next vlog will be a back day, so I guess I'll just see you guys then. Alright, so I'm recording the voiceover for the leg day, and I completely forgot to fucking record the calves, uh, the calf work, or the calf raises, so, yeah, I completely forgot about that, but, uh, yeah, anyways, um, hope you guys enjoy the, the leg day video, honestly, the voiceover is fucking terrible, I'm not gonna lie, it was absolutely trash, I will have, um, basically, like, a new vlog that's gonna be my push, pull, and legs, um, and then after that, I'll do, you know, my chest back, and then my new split, or the Arnold split that I'm doing right now, push ball legs slash Arnold split, but yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one, which is gonna be the back day, which I'm gonna go record the voiceover for right now, so.